Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and thank you, Madam Secretary, for, uh, for your time today. Uh, just in the interest of time, I'll say a couple quick things and then, and then dive right into a couple questions. You know, it, we had, uh, as you mentioned before, we had a great economy before COVID started to shut things down. And there were a lot of things going right. Uh, I really want to make sure that we emphasize in terms of remembering that uh, we had growing wages. We had growing wages across the, the scale, particularly low and, and, and middle income folks. Uh, we had uh, increased wages for minorities and, and high school graduates and non-high school graduates. And that's, that's a big positive that uh, we need to get back to in the country and, and continue that process, which was actually closing that wage income gap that's so important uh, in the country. And you, you made a comment and reference to that about how important that is. Let me dive right into a couple of questions in the interest of time. We, you know, I, I really have some concerns about this IRS leak. And I know there's some comments earlier about reference to paying taxes and how much we should pay. And uh, obviously we have taxes because we, we need to fund the, the critical roles of government. But this is an issue that it, it really does put the entire credibility of, of a major department uh, in your area of responsibility at risk and, and the entire credibility there. And I, I wanna ask you uh, one question around that is, I mean, will you see criminal charges for anyone who released this information, whether they're IRS or Treasury employees or whether they're just somebody who took information from the IRS uh, and released it out into the public? I believe this is a criminal um, violation. And um, of course, we, we would support whatever law enforcement um, finds appropriate to do. As I mentioned previously, we immediately um, referred this to uh, independent parties, to our Treasury Inspector General, to the DOJ, uh, to look into this. And this isn't this is something that's illegal. And um, yes, where, wherever wherever it occurred, um, it's appropriate to pursue actions. Thank, thank you, Madam Secretary. Just real quickly, I'm going to try to squeeze in another question that it changed the topic, going to the global minimum tax uh, proposal that's out there. I have some major concerns that we're going to critically damage uh, U.S. competitiveness, job opportunities for Americans by taking tax money that should be collected by the federal government and allowing it to be taken in, in uh, other countries. And particularly as we're going through this process and negotiations already at the point where there's exemptions and carve outs that's being requested. We already know, you know, UK is bringing up uh, demands for carve outs. Uh, France will shortly with luxury goods. China is as well. Yeah, how are we going to, uh, why would we want to put in a policy that, that takes money away from the United States and still helps other countries? Well, the guilty isn't really going to take money away from the United States. It's um, we're going to raise the tax that we apply to foreign income, and we'd like to see foreign countries do exactly the same thing. 